Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to import Microfold into Cinema 4D. So as you can see, I'm in this link, uh, link will be down below in the description. This is the link to download Mineways, which is the software we use to um, import worlds. And yeah, so download whatever you have, so Mac or Windows, so click download for Windows and I click save and there's no installation process I believe so you just double click it and it opens up uh, Mac I, I believe you need like wine or some sort of uh, other application to help run it and yeah so now open up Mineways we get this it's completely blank click on file open world and let's get this one just random one and let's uh, right click oh village we can we can select that so right click and open it up like so and if you say okay so this will prompt sometimes and you click yes because it, then it'll get the blocks that go deeper than sea level so normally 62 is the sea level but if there are blocks deeper than it it shall prompt you that and say if you want to include those blocks so i believe this is a hole here and it prompted me if i want it and i put yes okay so now let's hit file and uh set terrain file so this is where you define which texture pack you want so it's all um already included so let's use the default which is i believe this one and then we click file uh export for rendering and then we click on desktop let's let's actually import it into our file here imports and then name it uh village like so save I don't want to mess around with the settings, so it should be fine. Okay, so now we can open up Cinema 4D and let's make, make a new file uh, explorer and find that folder we saved it in. So this is the folder and as you can see, it's created five objects, five stuff and what we need is OBJ. So let's click and drag it in. And what I set it as is 100 centimeters, which means that's one meter per block, right? Um, and yeah, so you press OK. Um, and Okay, so now we have the world, so let's uh, double check if it's the right size by loading a, in a character. So let's do that. I have my rig here. You can download rigs online. I'll show you how to do that later on in the tutorial. So now, as you can see, yeah, it is the right size. So we can go ahead and delete that, what we created. And yeah, so now we have the world. Keep in mind, if it's not the right size, you would uh, click and drag this in again, press uh, whatever that is. Okay, and then you would change if it's too big, you would change it to say 10 and try that. If it's too small, you just put a thousand or something and mess around with that. So I, I, if you put 100 and centimeters, it should be right, so. Okay, so as you can see, the textures are all blurry and it's all ugly looking. So let's go ahead and fix that in the materials manager. So double click a material and you should get this option here. So what I like to do is I like to uh, right click and remove duplicated materials because as you can see some of them all just the same material applied several times on different objects. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we have less materials to work with. So and don't worry you can always separate them afterwards and put them on objects. So yeah. Uh, so now let's go ahead and select all the materials and go into the attributes manager of them. And so now the first thing we want to do is change the sampling to none. Like so, under color tab and none. So now you can see the blurriness has gone. Um, and yeah, so the next thing we want to do is off reflectance and enable alphas. So as you can see, the grass isn't uh, perfectly alphaed out. Uh, so so it's only alphaing out the um, Alphaing out. It's only alphaing out the uh, textures that need it. So the the wood and grass um, uh, does not need the alpha channel. Just the grass here. So let's click on the ones that have the alpha channel needed. Uh, we can even disable it here. So these two things we don't need. And let's go in alpha channel and change the sampling to none for the alpha channel as well. And it shall it shall alpha that out correctly. So now we have all the textures set up. Keep in mind if we render this out right now, it's gonna look crappy as hell. Um, because we don't have lighting. So that I will go through in future tutorial. Okay, so now we have imported a Minecraft world and yeah, we have all the objects in here. You can even delete the ones you don't want. Like say, if you don't want dandelions, you just click on it and go ahead and delete it uh, like so. Or if you want to individually delete, say some grass, you just right click. I mean, you just go in polygon mode and just delete it like so. And yeah, uh, so that's how you import Minecraft worlds. And stay tuned and see you in the next tutorial.